Thank you very, very much, and thank you for hearing us again. I think the disability of ME is one which doubly disadvantages people. On the one hand, it's an invisible disability. On the other hand, it's a denied disability. And I think if there's one thing that I drew enormous pleasure from following the last couple of debates, it was the number of people who, as Nicky Morgan has said, from around the world, who got in touch with us and said, at last, somebody's listening to us. We're in a position where we need to do more than just ventilate and more than just actually adumbrate on the particular circumstances, but intervene, I think, in what appears to be a remorseless rolling rockfall, which at the present time is liable to, to crush many of our constituents. I'm not going to criticise the medical profession. It's not my place to do so, and I can't do so. But it seems to me that what we have here is an unequal contest. We have, there is almost, not near unanimity, there's a very high number of people who suffer from and myalgic encephalomyelitis, who are <coughs> deeply, deeply concerned about this current form of treatment. We all know that medics have got it wrong in the past. What have we got to lose by ventilating this one more time, as widely as possible, because this is something that if we don't get this right, then the consequences, particularly for paediatric ME sufferers, can be absolutely disastrous. So you see um, three and a half parties represented here, um, and we have attracted an enormous number of people. But I, th I think really and truly, Mr. Mearns, the people that I'd like to be addressing today are those in, around the world who for years have suffered their disability being denied. And they look to us, as Nicky Morgan said so brilliantly and so eloquently, to actually speak for them. And I know all of us would be extremely grateful for the opportunity to do so. Thank you. Thank you very